So here we have a Kia Carnival V6. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to service it. You're going to start with removing the 10mm bolts in this top cover to remove it. And that top engine cover just comes straight off. And then here we've got the filter, oil filter there. It's a cartridge type filter. I'm going to remove that with an oil filter claw tool, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And then we'll move on to lifting it up and draining the oil. So I just cracked that with the oil filter tool. Now you can just unscrew it. go ahead and lift the filter out. Take the filter out now. Like that little drainer. Just leave the filter cartridge to drain and we'll replace the o-ring before we put the new filter in. I'm also just going to leave it out while I drain the oil to let all that drain as well. So we'll lift the car up and do that now. So I've now got the vehicle raised up in the air. You can see on the right hand side of the vehicle, the driver's side, the engine sump. You're going to need a 17mm spanner to crack that sump plug. Generally pretty tight. And now leave that to drain five to ten minutes. And then we'll go ahead and replace the sump plug washer on the sump plug so that doesn't leak when we put it back on. Leave that to drain. Alright, that's now been draining for about ten minutes. So I've got my sump plug all cleaned up with a new washer on it. Go ahead and Refit that. Wind that in there. And the spanner. Just tighten that back up. And now just clean it off a bit with a bit of degreaser. And we'll bring it back down. Fit the new filter and fill it up with oil. Now it's important when replacing the o-ring on the cartridge that it sits in the groove properly there so it doesn't leak. Some people leave it on the thread when they start the car and it leaks. Uh, and also to change the o-ring on the top of the cartridge here it sits just in this groove which has been supplied in the filter kit and as well as the top fit o-ring. Now both of the o-rings have been fitted. As you can see, the top o-ring sitting in its groove properly, and bottom o-ring, it's also sitting in its groove. Now quite easy to remove, just with a screwdriver. Just pry them both out, and fit the new ones. Just slide the oil filter straight on, the housing, and it's ready to be slotted back into the car. Refit the new filter. You can pretty much screw this down the whole way. That's it. And now just tighten it up with the oil filter tightening tool. So it's all done. I've just finished tightening the oil filter now. I just nip that up with my oil filter tool. Now we'll go ahead and fill it up with the oil. And I'm using a 5W30 full synthetic oil. You can use a 10W30 mineral oil, but we find in these engines that they run a lot smoother with the synthetic blend. So for that reason, 
be up to use this oil. The capacity on these is about five to five and a half litres, depending on how long you leave them to drain. So we'll go ahead and put five litres in, start the engine, uh, make sure the oil light goes out, and then recheck it on the dipstick, see how much oil is in there. So we've just finished filling it with five litres of oil now, and fitted the oil cap. Now what we want to do, we want to start up the engine, just take notice of the oil light there. We want that to go out within a couple of seconds, two to three seconds. Make sure we've built up oil pressure okay, we don't have any issues. There we go. Oil lights off, means we've built up oil pressure. And go ahead now and check our oil level. Just leave it for a couple of minutes for the oil to settle. And pull the dipstick out. Check the level. On our level it's a little bit low. We'll just go ahead and add half a litre just to top it up to the full mark. Just topping it up at last half a litre. Then we'll be right put the oil cap back on and then the engine cover. So now I've just gone ahead and fitted the engine cover and tightened up the last four 10mm bolts securing it to the engine. And that's how to replace the engine oil and filter on a Kia Carnival.